All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're talking about what Special Ed has said about NWA. And um, we're going to briefly touch on it, man, talk about it, and uh, we'll be back. Who raised you? was crazy oh my god children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other what yo i can't understand it neither i'm just ahead of the curve sketch pad you know what it is all right yeah me back man before we get into it we almost at ten thousand. keep on sharing Keep on liking our videos. You know what I'm saying? Keep on pushing it up. Right now, our super chats are down due to technical difficulties. But they'll be back up soon. Y'all can do what y'all want to do with it. But let's get into this, man. Let's see what Special Ed is talking about. Uh, you know, it's crazy. I'll tell you after this. But go ahead. The uh, age of destruction. <laughs> NWA brought the age of destruction. Damn. Jesus Christ. NWA brought the age of destruction to our children and our culture. Wow. Period. A, I respect all of them as men, but as the art form, and you want me to speak on the art form, I'm going to tell you what it is. That's where it started. Wow. That's where the agenda started, and that's where the destruction began. Of gangster rap, you would give that to them? And or? W.A. ran away with it in such a way where it was like, for real? Or, that's all we going to do? Yeah. You know, it was genius for them, and they made millions of dollars off of it, but look at what it caused. You they feel me? They said police early. Yeah. Because I'm a teenager with a little bit of gold and a pager searching my car looking for the product. N.W.A. brought the age of destruction. <laughs> ah, special ed, sit the fuck down, dog. Like for real. You can't solely blame a rap group on the atrocities of hip hop and what it done to the black community. Because just because they started it, even if they, because they didn't start it, first of all. Let's just be clear. It wasn't the first people to say, fuck the police, things like that. They didn't start it. But what kills me about people like this is NWA run was, I think, at least maybe four years, four to five years. But you know what? It's crazy. Ice Cube did the exact opposite. He was more of an, a political type of figure. Even though he was in the NWA, his music, when he left NWA, it was more of, of righteousness type music. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do a lot of uh, music that went against the black community. That's one. Two, um, as far as if you're going to contribute them to being the people who started it, okay. But they didn't force everybody else to do it. And everybody else could have just drowned them out and said, no, we're rapping about this. Because Special Ed, any Special Ed, I'm a super duper star. Every other day I got a brand new car. Like, yeah, we see what you was rapping about. You know what I'm saying? I believe that's the only song that you had that was of any significance. Believe it or not, but... You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I don't think that you can just solely put that on them when the 90s hip hop was t 
totally dedicated to street music and how the 90s hip hop is probably the reason why a good portion of black people are where they at <laughs> mentally. 90s hip hop completely, if it was NWA who started it, 90s hip hop finished it 100%. They had songs called Throw Your Guns in the Air and Buck Buck Like You Just Don't Care. These, and I'm not trying to say that. Uh, rappers like Onyx and rappers like uh, uh, these other rappers like MOP and all these rappers. Any up. Any up. What do you know any up means? Do y'all know what that means? <laughs> so my thing is for you to say that NWA is they started the age of destruction. I don't agree with that because Everybody in hip hop didn't have to go that way. And, it, and it, you ultimately saying that everybody took NWA style. And if you're saying that you're saying that NWA started all this, then everybody started rapping like them. So you're basically saying that everybody raps like NWA. That's basically what you're saying. They took their style and they ran with it because gangster rap, I would say wasn't even started by NWA. It started by Ice-T. Doesn't start out by NWA. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the stuff that they talked about, they had a few gangster songs, but most of the songs was playing around. I'd rather fuck you. Ooh, yeah. Said I'd rather fuck with you. It was hood music. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? They did a couple of joints, but still. So I think that um him making that statement, he just I believe he just he went to what was the most sought after or popular because they was getting banned and all that stuff. So I believe he just said, you know what? Yeah, they was the reason why rap, why they brought they they fucked our kids up. No, it wasn't just them. It was the whole era that surrounded that. You know what I'm saying? All the way up to all the way up to uh, how to rob a nigga. Many men, like all all these songs, contribute to the demise of the black community. You can't just blame them. Biggie had a song about robbing people on a train. How he tied up how he tied up a man's daughter in the basement. Note to the plaintiff: Your daughter's tied up in a Brooklyn basement. Face it, not guilty. That's how I stay filthy. Like, you can't just blame them. Whether you want to say they started it, it don't matter. They all contributed to it. <laughs> hey, man, I, I, I yield to you. Yeah. Um, I understood what he was saying. Um, I understood what he was saying. Uh, I, I, um, I know there's another video that's out that explains what he meant because uh, a lot of a lot of uh, artists, especially on the West Coast, were you know were kind of upset with him and they wanted to approach him about it, not in no physical way or nothing like that. They just wanted to approach him about it, you know, and ask him because like they're cool, like you know, hip hop is a community. You know what I mean? And um, since they know him personally, they wanted to talk to him about it. So there's another video, actually, with uh, with them having like a, a a discussion, you know what I'm saying? And there's going to be like a, a hip hop like summit or something like that meeting on the West Coast where it's going to be roundtable discussion about what he just said and really? what they can do about it to fix. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God. they they oh. have they have another video they they have another video on Instagram Live that was posted on YouTube that that uh that explains exactly what he said 
in, in context and everything. But um, getting back to, you know, my opinion, like, I I disagree with him. And then I agree with him. And, 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 and I like, I'm like half and half. And my reason is, is because like, I understood what he was saying. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm like, you can't really put that all on them because like there's a lot of other artists that contributed to that you know at the same time too we got to really look back at that meeting that secret meeting that that artist had with the record labels and everybody signed this contract they didn't know what they were signing and they didn't know that lo and behold gangster rap was being created you know, there's videos on that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we got we gotta put all those all those uh scenarios under one umbrella and we gotta like, you know, really look at that too, because like I feel like that meeting that they that everybody's been talking about for so many years, that secret meeting along with the gangster rappers that came out before NWA and all that type of stuff, along with all that. I feel like all that combined had contributed as a whole to what is going on with 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 the black community. I feel like that has contributed as a whole. Now, mind you, not everybody in the black community that was influenced by that type of music is doing bad. Let's be clear here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going front. I've li I listen to a lot of gangster hip hop. I just like bars. I like metaphors. I like similar. I listen to a lot of it. But I'm conscious enough to know what I can absorb and what I can't. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some, there's some rappers that are so out of pocket with their words that I can't listen to it because it's not good for my spirit. So, you know what I'm saying? I feel like once we become mindful about what we're listening to, then we can understand what to absorb and what not to absorb. And I think... I think that's what he was saying, but he just, I, I don't know, maybe the delivery of how he said it was kind of off and just people just took it the wrong way. But I definitely don't think that um, he meant anything bad by it, but I just think that just was his opinion. You know what I mean? But, you know, I think as a whole, like, like you said, everybody contributed to it. It wasn't just one particular group. Everybody had their place and what is going on with what is going on today. So, I mean, that's the, about there's that. a bunch of different ways you can look at that statement from, from me thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. So if you're saying the NWA started the age of destruction, then what did, then what did a uh, public enemy do? What did uh -huh. they do? Because I could have swore that they, they didn't say directly say fuck the police, but, Nine one one is a joke. You know? yeah, yeah, I remember that. I yeah. mean, so I think that NWA said what was on everybody's mind. I believe that's mm -hmm. where it was. If he want to mm -hmm. say that, I agree with that. But mm -hmm. to say that one group was the demise of the black community it's that's nuts nwa didn't even have that much power to do that they 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 wasn't that big back then they were mm -hmm. big but they wasn't that big until after i believe ice cube started doing things because the west coast wasn't a big hip-hop scene the mecca was new york everybody wanted to go to new york it was even that big that ice cube went to new york and stole it jack their beats jacking for beats i remember that so i can't solely put this on them you know what i'm saying just because the wright brothers mm -hmm. made airplanes they was the first people to make a plane doesn't mean nothing if somebody came along and took what they made and made it better you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's the yeah. same thing when it comes to hip hop. If somebody can make something 
let's say, for instance, me and you started gangster rap, but we ain't really not that known, but we started gangster rap. And then somebody came along that was 10 times bigger than us. Who had more of an impact? Us or them? They did. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, yeah. I believe that's why I contribute to the 90s. The 90s music, if he said 90s music was the, 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 the destruction, I would agree with that 100% because I believe 90s hip-hop, although it's so toxic, it's lovable at the same time. I love it, but it's very toxic. You listen to some of what they're talking about in those songs, it's unbelievably toxic to the point where I believe record labels didn't even want to sign you unless you talked about that type of stuff if you didn't if you was trying to be like common they wasn't trying to sign you so him saying what he said I don't agree with it I disagree with it I think that it's not just them just say hip hop in general just say 90s hip hop, early 90s, late 80s, early 90s hip hop was the reason why the black community, certain reasons why the black community is where it's at. You can't put it on any of you. That's just my take. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also want to say, too, like, you know, um, we also got to remember, too, like, when you, just like how we redo our reactions and, um, we do our social commentary and we talk about topics that's going on in the world or whatever. People get sound bites and flip it. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said before, because I watched the whole episode of Drink Champs and um and like it wasn't necessarily presented like the video that, you know what I'm saying, was displayed. But that I tried to go back and find the actual cut of where he said that in the video so long, the drink taps episode was like two hours. So it was so long, it was hard for me to pinpoint where it was at. So that's why I said, let's just use that right there. But we can, you know, possibly correct. So just remember, like people, people chop up, chop up what they want to chop up all the time. You know what I mean? So we got to understand that too. But I, like I said, uh, I can never say that NWA is the, the, the sole reason behind what's going on. No, nah, they're not, you know. They're not. There's a lot more. There's a lot more entities involved in, in that whole situation as far as our, our people are concerned. But, hip-hop, you know, like hip-hop. I said. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, like I said, you know, uh, they having a meeting. <laughs> Round table discussion in Los know. Angeles. So it brought know. up a, it brought up a discussion. And they want to talk about it. So I don't let's know. believe is that if there's some footage out there and somebody posts it or we get our hands on it, best believe we'll talk about it. Yeah. But yeah. But I, yeah <laughs> just, just remember everybody. Hip hop is a blood sport and it is what it is. So hey man, we out of here, sketch pad. See ya, peace. Mm-hmm.